Mexico is located at the southern tip of the North American continent and is home to more than 100 million people. The Tropic of Cancer cuts right through the country and its tropical climate is responsible for an immensely varied biodiversity. Amazingly, Mexico is home to 10% of the world's species. With so many natural resources, it's no surprise that Mexico is responsible for introducing the rest of the world to so many delicious foods that are now considered invaluable by so many other cultures. By the time the Spanish arrived in the 15th century, advanced civilizations had lived in the region for thousands of years and they were noted for their exceptional understanding of architecture, mathematics, art, theology and cuisine. It is, after all, the Aztecs that we have to thank for that fine delicacy that we all call chocolate. Not to be confused with the Americanized Tex-Mex, Mexican cuisine is a fusion of indigenous tradition and the culinary influences of its Spanish colonists. The herbs and spices used in Mexican cooking are varied and differ between the regions. Also, a Spanish and then French influence introduced European flavors to the Mexican palate. Of course, chilies are the most famous Mexican ingredient and they are used in dishes right across the country. There are many varieties of chili eaten in a range of colors, flavors and strengths and they are often used in combination to flavor particular dishes. Chilies are most often found in sauces and salsas. A very versatile spice, the chili is added fresh in many dishes but can be found pickled and eaten on its own or as part of a dish even dried and powdered. Coriander leaves are used in fresh green salsas as well as several other cooked and fresh salsas. It is also common in bean and rice dishes, soups, stews and moles. Less frequently the seeds are ground and added to stews. In Mexico, coriander is called quilantro and is an important ingredient of guacamole. Used whole or ground in a wide variety of Mexican stews and soups, cumin is loved for its aromatic flavor and is one of the country's most widely used spices, especially when cooking meats. Popular European herbs like majorum, thyme and oregano are found in many tomato-based dishes and chowders. They are most often added to dishes dried, oregano being the most often used by far. The Spanish brought black pepper, onion and garlic to Mexico and they are now an important part of the Mexican food vocabulary. Many dishes use onion or onion powder and garlic is valued for its distinct flavour. Although not native to Mexico, cinnamon is a common spice flavouring many desserts. Of course, chocolate is part and parcel of the Mexican dessert diet and cinnamon is an excellent complement along with fruit and nuts. A spice that is native to Mexico is vanilla. The vanilla pod is used to flavour cakes, custards and desserts like this delicious Mexican flan we will cook later in the show. Of course, there are many more spices and herbs used in Mexican cuisine, some native, some introduced, but all adding to the cultural flavours of Mexico. Mexican food is one of those unique cuisines that has established a reputation as one of classic flavours. Like French or Japanese, the food of Mexico is popular right around the world. So what is Mexican food and why is it so popular? Mexico is a land that is rich in produce. Produce that has influenced the cooking of the entire globe. Let's take a look at some of Mexico's gifts to the culinary world. First of all, corn or maize. Native to Mexico, corn was first cultivated and eaten by the Aztecs and Mayans and is now the most cultivated grain in the Americas. Eaten fresh off the cob as a side dish or used as an ingredient, corn is the staple grain of the country. In Mexico, maize is ground into flour and used to make famous Mexican treats like cornbread and tortilla. Tortillas are the basis for many traditional and recognizable Mexican dishes. Classics like enchiladas, flautas, 
tostadas, tacos, and even nachos chips are all based on the maize or corn tortilla. Many associate tomatoes with Mexico, and although it is native to South America, the first tomato was actually first used in Peru. It is believed, though, that tomatoes were first cultivated in Mexico by the Aztecs in central Mexico, and the word tomato actually comes from the Aztec word tomatl, which means swelling fruit. Available in a variety of colors, sizes, and shapes, tomatoes are used in many Mexican dishes, but are probably most famous in salsa. Interestingly, when tomatoes were first taken to the world by the Spanish, they were used as a decoration for over half a century before being incorporated into local cuisines. Tomatoes are not the only unique food from Mexico. The delicious and unusual avocado is a mainstay of Mexican cuisine and the essential ingredient in the famous guacamole, a dip made from avocado, lime juice, salt and sometimes chili or coriander. There is one Mexican food that has been adopted right across the globe. Enjoyed in Mexico for over 3,000 years, the cacao bean, fermented and dried, then roasted and shelled, is the magic ingredient of chocolate. Named chocolate by the Spanish, the people of Mexico have savoured the unique flavours of this unusual plant since about 1100 BC. Although not always used in the form we know it, chocolate was originally a somewhat bitter drink. Over years of refining and experimentation, the delicious sweet chocolate we all know and love is part of life on every continent of the globe. Desserts have always been very popular across all of Mexico and locals enjoy a great variety of tasty sweets. One of the most famous is the classic Mexican flan. Originally introduced by the conquistadors of Spain, the flan has become so synonymous with Central America that now this delicious dessert is actually called Mexican flan. The food of Mexico is a combination of influences from both the New and Old Worlds. Christopher Columbus and the Conquestadors introduced many new staples to its shores, yet even to this day, it is the original food of the indigenous people that still plays the greatest role in defining Mexican food culture. Corn, avocado, vanilla, and of course chocolate, to name just a few, all originated from pre-Columbian Mexico. Yet all these ingredients could easily be considered staples of any number of other countries. Known for its varied flavors, colorful decoration, and wide variety of ingredients, Mexican food continues to grow in popularity around the world. Cultural Flavors continues to explore the world through the diversity of food. From Nepal to Japan, France to Korea, let Cultural Flavors take you on a gastronomic journey so you can experience the tastes of the globe at home.